It's match day at Ashton Gate. Once again, a sold-out crowd await in the FA Cup third round replay as we take on Premier League West Ham, who haven't played since we last played them at the London Stadium 10 days ago. And obviously drew one all back by 9,000 Bristol City fans. If you haven't seen that vlog, do go and check it out. This happened, which was very, very cool. very good um, and yeah it was a really good day out and hopefully we can cause a little bit of an upset tonight so let's get down to Ashton Gate Paqueta's injured Bowen's injured Kudus is away at the AFCON still I think we've got a bit of a chance there so let's get down to the ground and hopefully cause an upset come on the boys Teams out, it reads as follows O'Leary, Tanner, Viner, Dickey, McCrory starting, Williams, James, Pring, Gardner, Hickman, Mometti, and Conway. So it looks like a back five from us, which is interesting. Dickey, Viner, and McCrory as the, as the three, with Pring and, and, and Tanner sorry, pushing on as the wing backs. Williams, James, and Gardner, Hickman in midfield, so no Jason Knight. Or possibly, maybe it's Gardner, Hickman on the right, with McCrory as a holding midfielder, perhaps? I don't know, because Mometti and Conway are the other two. So we have to have no right winger unless Garden Hickman's playing far, far forward on the right, perhaps. Um, or Pring's playing far forward on the left. I don't know. It's a very strange, very strange lineup, I think. It'll be interesting to see how it how it pans out in-game. But uh, yeah, Knight drop, which is interesting. So the bench is uh, Badgett, Knight LaBelle, Roberts, uh, Hayden Roberts on the bench, which is nice. Uh, Knight, Nelson, Cornick, King, Bell and Wells. So let's get down into the ground and uh, see what happens. It's, that's an interesting team. I wonder if the West Ham ones we put out. Let's have a quick look at that. The West Ham one is Fabianski, Kufal, Zuma, Mavropanos back from injury after we, knocked, after we uh, took him out at the uh, London Stadium. Cresswell, Emerson, Suchek, Ward Prowse, Saeed Ben Rama starting last time he played here. Rainbow Flick and Adam Nagy in a 4 0 win for Brentford. And then Maxwell Corne and Danny Ing. So it's, a, it's an interesting team for both sides. They've gone very strong. We've gone very strong, as you'd expect. And I think it should be a very nice game. A very good game, sorry. West Ham playing in their sort of navy blue away kit. And hopefully we can cause an upset. As I've said a few times now, well, let's get into the ground and hopefully, well, let's just see what happens.
Time one to up, scoring after just a few minutes. A really good goal for Tom White. Kings went through, and O'Leary kind of came out slightly right tackled it away. I don't really know what happened after that. I think they won the pullback and they, they lost it. I think it was a dodgy pass back to the keeper that Conway seems to have intercepted. It's all a little bit of a blur. You couldn't really see probably. But as you just see, it was out of carnage. A seat's broken in front of me. And um, yeah, it's been a very, very controlled first half. We look really comfortable with the ball. Really, really strong when we go forward. Uh, West had a few chances that you've seen that they've missed. But hopefully more of the same in the second half. And we can, uh, we can kick on and win this.
there we go then. A, uh, a 1 0 win. An incredible performance from us. Incredible side. Ben Ram obviously getting sent off, therefore kicking out at Joe Williams. I'll be honest, I've seen the replay. Williams probably should have gone for the tackle. It was a really bad challenge. <laughs> but look, the game's the game at the end of the day. Uh, Taylor Garden Hitman probably could have gone at one point as well. He was having a bit of a scrap with someone off the ball, and then I think he did just whack him. But who knows what happened? It's not the end of the world. Everyone's saying the pitch. We won 1 0. The atmosphere was incredible tonight. West Ham fans absolutely silent. Obviously, it is a bit. I'd love to say it's a bit hard making an atmosphere when you go 1-0 down after three minutes, but we did it at their place and we were quality. So it's on them, I think. But uh, but yeah, really, really good performance, really good win. And we're into the fourth round of the FA Cup. Whether we play Forest or Blackpool, we will find out that tomorrow when they play in the replay at uh, Bloomfield Road. But yeah, a brilliant win. A nice little cup upset. The first one I've seen us beat a Premier League side in the cup in God knows how long now. But yeah, a really, really good win. Roll on Saturday against uh, Watford back in the Championship. And I will see you there. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. We're trying to hit 2,000 subscribers as soon as possible. I'll see you in a bit. Cheers.